Typically, people try to avoid shock waves in turbo machinery design, and we turn this challenge into an opportunity. In an internal combustion engine, there are so many parts that move auxiliary parts to control the engine, like the valve train and things like this. The wave disk engine has only one rotating disk, and there is basically no friction between a solid part and another solid part, hence we have less frictional losses in the wave disk engine from the get-go. The wave disk engine operates on a very simple principle. Basically, it sucks in combustible mixture. The mixture gets trapped in the channel. The moment the channel outlet closes, a shock wave is generated because this mixture is running against a wall. The shock wave compresses the fluid, raises the pressure and temperature and ignition occurs. After ignition, we have combustion. So combustion leads to higher pressure and temperature in the channel where we extract power from the gases, propelling the disc, which is connected to a drive shaft. And this drive shaft can drive a generator where we produce electrical power. If we really wanted to watch the flame propagate, the top plates aren't that expensive. We have All the students are excited to work on this project because it's truly a totally new engine concept. We wouldn't be able to do this with simulations only putting a program in a computer, wait and get a result. No, this depends on the innovation and dedication, uh, commitment of people, and we are happy to have quite a good group of those. We are working towards getting a 25 kilowatt out of a large pot size generator. 25 kilowatt, we are told, is very good range extender, backup generator for electrical hybrid car of regular size, even a small SUV. However, it could also be used as a backup generator in households, uh, portable power, disaster relief uh, generator, even on board of an aircraft for power generation. So there are many uses based everywhere where you have to generate power. That's where the wave disk engine comes in with a higher efficiency, lighter, smaller and easier to manufacture and less costs, of course.